Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. On tonight's menu, we're doing balsamic glazed salmon. I found this recipe for this balsamic glaze a while ago. Um, it was initially for a chicken recipe I was gonna try, but I decided to use fish instead. Instead, And ever since then, my husband gave me the thumbs up like, yeah, we can definitely keep this in the rotation. All right, so when we're looking for something a little bit more healthier, <laughs> this is our go-to, okay, y'all? So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, now, y'all see I have my big old piece of salmon. Um, what I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna remove the skin. And so you basically have to kind of stick your knife through there to kind of separate the flesh from the skin so that you can like create like a little small pocket, right? Enough so that your blade begins to get up under the fish. You gotta be careful, y'all, because you do not want to tear or rip up your fish. Ain't nobody sign up for no shredded fish. <laughs> No shredded balsamic fish. We don't want that. Once you finally get under the, um, remove, detach the skin from the flesh enough, you can slide your hand. You want to hold on to the, to the, um, skin and then just slide your hand or your knife. If you want to use a knife, go ahead. But this was a little tip trick that I found on, um, TikTok or YouTube or both of them, child. I don't know one of them. But basically, just slide your hand up there while holding the skin and it basically removes perfectly i kept lifting up the fish y'all because it felt so weird it felt like it was ripping and i'm like am i tearing up my fish y'all i can't be tearing up my fish but i didn't it was a smooth um removal y'all look at that nasty skin some people eat it you can fry it do all that stuff but i am not a fan of the skin so yeah we're gonna remove it and toss it go ahead and rinse your fish after that and now you're getting ready to season it i'm not sure what happened to the clip y'all but i basically seasoned it with my favorite go-to my garlic salt garlic powder onion powder um pepper and cajun seasoning this time again i told y'all last time i ran out of my old bait after you season it go ahead and rub some oil on it and rub it in the fish this is what it looks like now i was Russian. <laughs> I could have seasoned that a little bit more evenly and better and you'll see what I'm talking about because had I done that when I seared the fish it would have looked prettier <laughs> than what it did but basically y'all once you cut up your fillets however um, the width or size that you want them go ahead and make sure that you got your skillet nice and hot Throw some oil in there, olive oil, whatever oil you prefer, and lay your fish in there ever so gently. Okay, just ever so gently. You got to be gentle because look, we ain't got no L and I around here. You get popped with this hot grease, that's on you. <laughs> now I'd have been popped with some hot grease and it ain't fun, okay? So you got to be careful. Make sure to lay it in there ever so gently, okay? Lay it in there and again, we wanna sear it on um, both sides. Sear it on both sides. Um, <clears throat> we are not cooking this all the way through, y'all, because I'm gonna finish cooking it in the oven. After I'm done searing it on both sides, I have my, my oven preheating at three to at 350, and then we're just gonna um, put it in the oven for probably about 10 minutes, give or take. It really depends on the thickness of your fish, how much you have. Use your own judgment. Check your food, y'all. I don't have an exact time. Y'all know I ain't no good at giving the exact time and things like that because when I cook, I just cook. I don't look at the clock. I don't set a timer. <laughs> I don't, y'all barely measure y'all. So, you know, just open your oven, check your meat, get a thermometer, do what you gotta do. Now I'm getting ready to flip it. As you can see, this is what I'm talking about. See how it's not um, evenly distributed throughout the fish so it, it doesn't have that beautiful brown, all the way across like there's some patches and stuff but that's what happened when you impatient and you just trying to hurry up and get some 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 food in, in your kids stomach okay these kids have been at school all day these children these children is hungry okay they hungry and they tired and i'm tired too <laughs> now i went ahead and sliced up some lemons y'all you know what i realized i normally um have deal when i cook salmon i'll have dill you know some type of greenery some food grass that you can just you know throw over there but i didn't have none so i put some lemons and i threw it in the oven now let's go ahead and make our glaze so now i have a half a cup of brown sugar that i just put into a uh, measuring glass you could put, use a bowl whatever you want to do but the measuring glass is easy to pour now you see me pouring in a half a cup of balsamic vinegar once it come all the way out the 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 bottle y'all go ahead and shake it up shake it up shake it up shake them and put it in there <laughs> 
put it in your bowl and your measuring glass, whatever you want to use to um, create your sauce. It don't matter. Look, we use what we have, okay? Um, after that, <clears throat> we're now going to add um, a tablespoon of soy sauce. I have... I'm using um, low sodium soy sauce because you know we try, we try a little bit, we try a little bit to watch the salt intake, just a little bit, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, just a tablespoon of the um, low sodium soy sauce, and then I have some W sauce again, a tablespoon of that, y'all. <clears throat> it doesn't. There's really no preference on if you're using low sodium regular or if you're using brown sugar, dark brown sugar, light brown sugar. It don't matter, y'all. Just use what you have in your house. This is what I want y'all to understand. Ain't nobody about to be running to the grocery store. We gonna use and cook with what we have in our house. As you can see there, I did just add a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and now I'm adding two teaspoons of um garlic, uh, minced garlic. Now. I'm going to tell y'all, I buy the minced garlic because it's convenient. However, I am a fan of fresh garlic. I do buy fresh garlic from time to time. And I would say use fresh garlic if you have it. But if you don't have it or if you're trying to save time, use the minced garlic, y'all, because it's already done for you. But the, 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 um, the fresh garlic definitely has a better and stronger and, of course, fresher taste. So, but again, use what you have on hand, okay, y'all? Now we're going to pour that sauce in and let it start to boil so that it will reduce. When we say reduce, we're just saying, simply saying thicken your sauce, okay? You're going to turn it up so that the sauce begins to boil like this, and then it's going to start to thicken. Now, I'm going to say this, all right? Y'all don't be coming for me in these comments. I was impatient. Your girl had worked all day. I just got off work. I did not allow my sauce to thicken up <laughs> like I should have. Um, and I'm a little disappointed in that because had I let it thicken up the way that it should have, once I put it back in the oven, it would have gotten nice and sticky, y'all. I'm talking nice golden brown and sticky. But, you know, that's what happens when you're not patient. And you know what? I ain't, I ain't sorry. As long as the flavors is there, it don't even matter, y'all. When I say the flavor was still there and this was still good, oh my God, y'all. I hope y'all try it. If y'all do, leave a comment. Let me know how what you thought about it. But um, you're basically going to baste your, your salmon and you're going to turn your oven on broil and then put it back in there so that the sauce can kind of get um, <clears throat> sticky and, 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 you know, golden and kind of, it'll kind of start crisping up too because of the brown sugar that's in there. It'll get nice and bubbly. Okay, that's how the sauce was supposed to look. It was starting to thicken up. I had put it back on the um, uh, stove top because I was trying to get it back thick so that I can baste it again. Either way, y'all, it was still good. Um, I might redo this again and cook it the right way when I have more time and when I'm less tired. But y'all know how it is when you just getting off work and it's been a long day. I started the day with a flat tire, okay? Show me some grace. Show me some mercy, darn it. Now, this is the finished product, y'all. The lemons, everything looked good. I went ahead and plated this up with a side of mashed potatoes and broccoli spears, y'all. It was so, so, so good. I hope y'all try it out. Let me know what other recipes y'all want me to try. Um, make sure to subscribe, like, and share my channel. I want to thank y'all for watching. Here is the finished product. Don't it look good? I know it do, and it tastes good, too. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.